What's up guys, Chicks here from Chicks Tech Reviews. Today I've got my hands on the brand new B-Link GTI 10. Now this is a compact, powerful mini PC running full Windows 10. It supports triple 4K display outputs. You have a built-in fingerprint sensor, built-in microphones, and great connectivity and upgrade options. But first of all, inside the box, you will find a user manual. We've got a mounting bracket so you can install this mini PC at the back of your TV and the bracket is made from metal. You've got a bag of screws and some of these screws are going to be for the mounting bracket and the silver screws are going to be for your SATA hard drive. In this bag, you have a SATA ribbon cable and hard drive connection. You're also getting a long HDMI cable and a short HDMI cable. Power supply and the voltage is 19 volts, 3 amps. Now check out the design. This mini PC is made from a combination of metal and plastic. So the base definitely feels like metal and so does the back plate. And the rest of the body feels like plastic with these metal grills on each side. Now on the top, you've got the B-Link logo and a very nice two-tone design. You've got the Core i5 sticker, it's the eighth gen, and you've actually got a fingerprint reader. Now on the front, we have a physical power button, a clear CMOS button, two USB 3 ports, headphone jack, and a USB Type-C port. Now this Type-C port also supports display output at 4K. Now on the front, you've also got dual microphones, so one on the left and one on the right. And if we keep going, you've got some ventilation. On the back, you have a power socket. You've got two gigabit ethernet ports. You've got a 4K HDMI port and also a display port 1.2. So that's triple 4K display outputs in total. You've got two USB 3 ports, two USB 2 ports. If we keep going, that, nothing on this side, and that brings you back to the front. So in total, you're getting four USB 3 ports, two at the front, two at the back, and you've got two regular USB 2 ports. And if we just flip it around, quick look at the bottom of the unit. So very nicely designed, but let's quickly go through the specs. Now this unit is powered by the Intel Core i5. Now that is the eighth gen Intel Coffee Lake, and it's a 14 nanometer chip. Now for graphics, we have the Intel Ultra HD 620. Now we've got 16 gigs of DDR4 RAM, but you can upgrade that to 64 gigs. Now for storage, we have a 512 gigabyte M.2 NVMe SSD, and that is upgradable to two terabytes. Now there is a spare two and a half inch SATA expansion, and that supports up to two terabytes as well. And you've also got a spare expansion for another M.2 2280 SATA 3 drive, and that supports up to 512 gigs. Now this also supports Wi-Fi 6 with two gigabit LANs, and you have quite an advanced cooling system with dual heat pipes and dual cooling fans. Okay, so let's get this box open and check out those upgrade options. So we have four screws on the back. I'll quickly get them open. the ribbon cable and the lid should just lift off wow check this out people so this is where you're going to attach your hard drive you can see the screw holes on each side and you can attach a two and a half inch SATA drive and that includes SSD drives and you do have some instructions here on how to install the hard drive now I'm going to remove this top section so we can check out the upgrades you've got one two three four more screws let's get them open Now, after taking the four screws off, be careful when you lift it because you've got your SATA ribbon cable here stuck with a bit of tape. So you don't want to, so you don't want to lug that out. So basically, let's take the tape off carefully. There we go. And now you can just lift off this plate. Let's check out the RAM first of all. And you have two pieces of RAM already installed, and they are both eight gigabyte DDR4 RAM. So you can swap these out in the future and stick two 32 gigs in, giving you a maximum capacity of 64 gigs. And here is your main 512 gig SSD. It is an M.2 NVMe. And you can swap this drive out for a larger capacity and it supports up to two terabytes. And you also have another spare SSD slot. This is an M.2 SATA 3, and this supports a maximum SSD capacity of 512 gigs. So really like what B-Link do. Um, they give you plenty of upgrade options, making the product future proof. 
Now there's the ribbon cable for the SATA hard drive. Secure your hard drive in place with the four screws. And then you're gonna plug the SATA connection directly into your hard drive and then plug the ribbon cable directly in. And away you go. It's a slightly different way of upgrading than what B-Link have offered in the past, but they've still made it very easy. So you and me can go ahead and do it ourselves, upgrade our mini PC when we need it. Okay, let's close this up. Put the lid back on and four more screws to tighten. Impressive specs and upgrade options, but now I can't wait to get this all hooked up and find out exactly how good it performs. I'll be right back. So first of all, I ran a boot up speed test and this mini PC took only 21 seconds to fully boot up from a cold start. So here is the desktop. It's running full Windows 10 Professional. Comes with all the usual Windows apps you would expect to find, including the Windows App Store. So you can download all your favorite apps and games. This is basically a full PC experience in a mini compact size. The system is powerful enough to run all your regular Windows applications. And you can also play quite a few games from the Windows Store, including Modern Combat 5 and Asphalt 9. Now let's check out these system properties. So as you can see, Windows 10 Professional with Core i5 8259U with 16 gigs of RAM, 64 bit OS, and it is already activated and ready to use. And moving on to the system storage info, we have 512 gigs of internal storage. From that, we have 475 gigs usable. And from that, we have 440 gigs free to use. So next up, we're gonna play some 4K video samples from a USB drive and see how it performs. So first up, we have the 160 megabytes per second 4K Jellyfish demo, and you can see it's playing nice and smooth. And the 400 megabytes per second Jellyfish demo is also playing nice and smooth. So it looks like this mini PC handles 4K high bitrate playback absolutely fine. So next up, 4K 60 FPS with HDR. And as you can see, all the 4K HDR at 60 FPS samples play absolutely fine from USB. Okay, so time to check out some YouTube streaming and this device does support a maximum of 4K on YouTube. So next up, I tested out Netflix from the web browser and I was able to stream a maximum of 1080p. This fabled frog's wax might work in mystical ways. So moving on to some gaming and we are gonna be playing Asphalt 9 and I'm using my keyboard to play this game. And to really put this mini PC to the test, we are going to have to play some GTA 5, which I have installed through Steam. And you can see what the default resolution is, but I'm gonna bump that up to 720p and we're gonna see how it plays. And as you can see, GTA 5 playing pretty well, 720p resolution, achieving around 30 frames per second. And it's actually quite enjoyable. Now, Enter to Benchmark is no longer available on Windows. So instead, we are looking at the CPU benchmark score by Passmark. So we have a score of 8180. So let's see how this compares to the others. So this is my top performing mini PC chart for 2021, allowing you to compare the specs and prices of all the new models. And on this chart, you can see that the B-Link GTI has taken position one on this chart with a pass mark score of 8180. Now you can view the full versions of all my charts online at chigstech.com and read them at your leisure.
So there you have it guys, that was the new B-Link GTI Mini Windows 10 PC. And as usual, with all the recent B-Link Mini PCs, you can expect a premium build quality, the latest Wi-Fi 6, dual gigabit LANs, you have dual cooling fans, very decent performance from the Core i5, plenty of ports and connections on both front and back of unit. You even get a built-in fingerprint reader which allows you to log in without touching the keyboard and it's very fast. Also nice to see that this mini PC played all my video formats without me needing to download any codecs. Also great performance for 4K video playback and I was quite surprised on how well GTA 5 played on this unit. Now, you've got plenty of upgrading options, making this quite future-proof. This mini PC is also ideal for general web browsing, office applications, word processing, emails, spreadsheets, also web designing, coding, graphics, and even light 1080p video editing worked fine on this device. So if you need a small form factor, a space-saving design, but without compromising on the everyday performance, then this little i5 mini PC beast will not disappoint. But do bear in mind it comes with a rather high price tag, but at the same time I do feel it's worth the money as you're getting exceptional build quality, great cooling efficiency with superb overall performance and connectivity. And with that being said, I will leave the links in the description so you guys can check this product out. That's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.